All right. Next up in this video, we have a custom Yun lightsaber that I built for Derek. Derek sent it in to have some tweaks done, so I figured I'd do a quick video while I had it before I sent it back to him. Um, he wanted me to switch around the activation and the auxiliary buttons so that one was where the other one was before, um, and to change the blade to a 7 eighths um, photonic green blade. So we did that. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, it's a pretty rare hilt. But we've got these greebles here that are decorative. So what I did was I made the kill key look just like them so it kind of fits in. The last is a lightsaber that once belonged to a friend and great Jedi. This is now your activation button. And the cool thing about these photonic blades is that you can get wild colors with them. Just really crazy colors. Like if I remember correctly, I did a blue, a red, a green, um, the purple, and a white blade in this. And you'll notice that none of those colors exist with this photonic blade. It's something different. So this is definitely the red one and it does look pretty red with a green flash on clash that's a bright yellow blade with an orange flash on clash maybe This is a green blade with the green photonic tube that comes across as like a lemony lime color with a red flash on clash. This is the, I want to say the white blade which comes across just looking lime green. I did a purple flash on Clash here. Here we have... I'm not even sure. That might be the yellow blade. It's got the red flash on Clash. And then the only one that really stands out is the blue blade. Which looks just spectacular. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a really excellent aura around it of yellow with a green turquoise core. And that's just got incredible contrast when you do the blade lockup. Um, not much else to show you with this guy. The buttons are here and here. Power, activation. It is removable blade. You just pull it out. Got your standard XLR female and male input connectors. It's a piece of metal tape. I use that whenever the hilt and the blade don't sit as tightly as you'd like them to. Is that just really reinforces it like this is not going anywhere and there isn't really any good place to put a set screw in this guy without really screwing up the aesthetic you could put one in right here but you know the neck on this thing is really what this saber is all about you don't really want to have a screw going for the neck so but as it is you could really wing this thing around and it's the blade's not going to go anywhere regardless of the set screw And, yeah, I guess that's about it. Derek, uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's on its way back. I'm going to pack it up and send it to you right now. So you should have it in a few days. If you guys have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, feel free to let me know if you need anything built.